All right, so these are just my mini graham cracker crusts. Now I'm gonna come in with some sweet potatoes and we're gonna go ahead and grab a sweet potato and put it right into that mini graham cracker crust, just like so. I got this big can, so hopefully it is enough for my 12 mini crusts. I'm gonna be, you know, a little stingy at first and then I'm gonna fill them up. But this is gonna be so delicious. It's such an easy Thanksgiving, you know, favorite, fall time favorite. Whenever you wanna make this, honestly, this is gonna be good year round. Oh, I just love sweet potatoes. Okay, ooh, it looks like we're gonna have lots of sweet potato for each one. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more to those ones that are missing it. And the good thing is, is we can just kind of break them apart if they're too big, because they're so soft. All right, so we did use that whole can of sweet potato yams. Wait, I thought sweet potato and yams are different. Nope, they're the same thing. Oh, what? Now we're gonna come in with some sweetened condensed milk, and we're just gonna do a nice little squeeze on top of our sweet potatoes. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be good. Now, if you don't want yours too sweet, you can skip the sweetened condensed milk, but I love when my sweet potato casserole is nice and sweet. It was always my favorite side dish during Thanksgiving. It's just so delicious, and look at that milk. I'm using the squeezy pouch because that's just perfect for these individual servings. And you know what? You could do this same exact recipe in one of those big graham cracker crusts. It's gonna taste just as good, but then you'll get like a full big serving. But you guys know I love my individual servings, so I just had to try this recipe out in the mini graham cracker crusts. Okay, so just make sure you get a nice little, you know, about a half a tablespoon of sweetened condensed milk on each one. Not Nothing too crazy. It looks like a frosting. Oh, it is literally so delicious. You could make frosting with this, but it definitely couldn't replace a frosting. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Once we have our sweet and condensed milk on each of our mini graham cracker crusts, now we're going to grab some cinnamon. Oh, mm. yeah. And we're just going to do a nice little... Nice little sprinkle cinnamon on each one. Ooh, this is gonna be delicious. Oh, look how decadent this looks. Mm. I love sweet potatoes. Okay, just like that. I love yams. <laughs> Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these tongs and I'm just gonna smush these down just oh so slightly because the best part of the sweet potato casserole is coming up next and we gotta make sure we have room for it. So if they're a little too big, just kind of, you know, condense them down, you oh, know, with they, your sweet and condensed milk. They just break apart. <laughs> yeah, they're super soft. I mean, they're pretty much already cooked for you to eat. That's why I like these. And this recipe is so easy with these yams. Oh, yummy. Yam sweet potatoes. I, I swear they're the same thing. Are they? I don't think they are, baby. <laughs> All right, you guys tell me, are sweet potatoes and yams the same thing? Because I've gone my whole life thinking they're the same thing. <laughs> All right, now, like I said, it's time for the best part, the marshmallows. What? That's yeah. a huge bag. Because we are using the jumbo ones, but we're not just gonna stick a whole jumbo marshmallow on there. I'm not crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually gonna, gonna cut them in half, get more, for our buck, just like that. Those are the biggest marshmallows I've ever seen. <laughs> right? And then we're gonna put them on top, just like that. Oh, what genius. Yeah, so super quickly, just cut your marshmallows in half. Obviously, you could use the mini marshmallows, but I felt like the mini marshmallows always fall all over the place. So these jumbo ones just make my life easier. And I got these jumbo marshmallows from Walmart. I got everything that I'm using in this recipe from Walmart. So hopefully you guys have a Walmart nearby so you can try this out because it is literally the best way to make sweet potato casserole. Yeah, they, they don't sell these huge marshmallows anywhere. That's for sure. Uh -huh. And if you don't want the graham cracker crust, because I know that part kind of makes it untraditional, you could literally just put this in a little cupcake liner and put it right in your mini muffin tin or your regular muffin tin and you have the same recipe, so good, individual servings without the graham cracker crust. 
you can really customize this to your liking. With all my recipes, I always tell you guys, you know, make it to make it to your liking. Do you make it homemade? Make it from scratch. Make it, you know, with pre-made stuff. That's the best part about my recipes is that they're always customizable. Our little mini sweet potato pies are ready for the oven. My oven is set to 350, and these are only going to be in there for 15 minutes. So fast. Yeah. At these. Oh my. I am way too excited. These look incredible. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop one out super quick. I love that they're in their own little individual tins. Oh, they look so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and get Oh, that oh. marshmallow. Oh, okay, get a little bit of everything in one bite. Blow on it. It's going to be hot. Is it good? That is incredible. Mm, I'm good. Woo. Nice.